traders. Welcome to the TMT Stock Market Strategy video for Tuesday, May 10th. Yesterday, we had an inside day. We actually didn't do anything well within the 15-minute range. You can see that here. And as you know, um, I'm a big fan of the 15-minute range. Every time price breaks down out of the range, a little back test, we should continue to see more downside, meaning that there's more money coming out of the market or shorts starting and vice versa. When, mar when uh, the price moves out of the 15-minute range, even to the upside, you get a little bit of a pullback and price should continue to sidestep and move higher because we have new money, new order flow coming in, breaking out of that range. But when you see this within the same, uh, within a 15-minute range, look what happens. Absolutely nothing. So you as a professional should identify, uh, do we have an inside day? Do we have order flow to the upside and or to the downside? And then you should be identifying the trend. There was absolutely no trend yesterday. You could see that. So there was absolutely nothing to do unless you're looking for special situations or uh, possibly looking for any type of commodity, what, what have you. But again, nothing going on yesterday. It's a pause day from Friday. Now, let's take a look at the dollar. Now, I, I've been mentioning about the dollar saying, look, we'll probably get a little bit of a bounce. This is always, this is, was pretty typical, breaking down of support uh, and then moving back up again, which also Bank of J Japan minutes helped a big move yesterday, uh, Sunday night into uh, uh, Monday morning. And then we had a real big move in the do and uh, excuse me, dollar moved up in uh, gold, commodities, all the material sector uh, really got clobbered yesterday. Rightfully so. Um, you know, you have gold up um, almost 250 points since the January low. So uh, it's due for a little bit of a pullback, a correction. I'm not saying a crash, but I do think that gold does pull back a little bit more. I'm putting out a special video on that in the, come, in the next couple of days. I'm putting together as we speak. So uh, keep an eye on that, uh, if you will. So the dollar, we get dollar strength. Of course, we're going to have commodity weakness across the board. I'm really looking for right around here that, that uh, 50 and the 200. That's a little bit, I think, a little bit far. But um, uh, we definitely wouldn't, I would definitely see the dollar breaking out of this bullish falling wedge maybe a small back test, and then reaching that 50-day moving average uh, right around here at 24.64. So just keep an eye on that. Remember, we continue to get dollar strength. We're going to get commodity weakness, okay? Now let's take a look at the VIX. And again, VIX at the lows here. I'm thinking that, um, and I mentioned, I showed this. I'm gonna, we're going to go into this next, but spiders uh, or the ES, the S&P, um, I see it popping a little bit higher. We are up in the pre-market about six, seven handles. Uh, I see the uh, I could see the VIX move down to the lower end of this bullish falling wedge trend line, and then break out. And then once we break out, guys, that's going to put um, a buy signal for the VIX, a sell signal for the market. Which I do believe, in the next week or so, we should see an interim, or I should say, a short-term market top in the markets. Okay, spiders. And this is what I put out yesterday. I just labeled it a little bit easier for you guys to identify. You could see that we're starting to build that right shoulder here. I put that out uh, Monday morning. And um, again, I put question marks here because we, we haven't really done so yet. But this line sh it shows that this is where I'm thinking about where the market goes, right to the top, around 207-ish. And then we get a market break. Now let's take a look at the 60-minute uh, chart, which I've also showed you. Uh, we had that head and shoulders on a 60-minute target hit. And now we had that bullish falling wedge I mentioned on Friday. You could see that here. Now, what I did was I put Fibonacci retracements looking to see where likely price would fail. Okay, and we got three spots here. We got the 61.8, the 50, and the 38%. Uh, I believe this will break out above the 38%, but if at that 50%, right around that 207-ish, um, and let me grab the, um, let me just grab the crosshairs here. Um, you could see right around here, uh, 208.28, the 61.8%, and 207.52. Those are the two likelihoods that I'm looking for uh, a market to um, to pause or stop and then move over. Of course, we're going to need a, a sell trigger, right? So identify your sell trigger and see where the market may stop. But that's what I'm looking for, a break up maybe into, this, into these areas, even at 38%, and then look some sort of failure, uh, whether we break out here or we break out up here. And then fail okay so these are the targets this is what i'm looking for and i'll label them tomorrow again for you to make it easy but uh just to go over 208.31 207.52 and then of course the 206.67 those are my three areas of possible failures looking for a, uh, a market uh, to start to move lower okay that's important so keep an eye on that in the coming days iwm daily you could see that here um that we're, we're kind of just 
holding that 50. We're already in the indices held the 50-day moving average. So, um, you know, if, if even if we get a test to this trend line, I do believe that uh, we should see the market hold and then start to roll over again, okay? Let's take a look at the Diamonds Daily. And the same thing, 50-day moving average held. Even if we get back up to the top of this uh, trend line area, this horizontal trend line, uh, I'm thinking that would be it. And then we start to move lower. And then lastly is the Qs. You can see here, Qs had the worst damage in the last uh, couple of weeks. But again, below the 20, below the 50, below the 200, this area here is probably where I'm looking for with the market to fail, right up in this area, 107.50. That's going to be the target, and then I'm looking for lower prices, okay? Hope it helps, guys. Have a great day, and we will speak to you tomorrow. Take care.